This viewpoint will quickly change the way you think about your golf game. I know we're inside, it is snowing. You have heard me right, it is snowing. Uh, but still Sunday Swings is still exactly the same. So second up, this is video number two, we've got James Barrett. And let's have a look at his golf swing right here. So one thing we're gonna look at here is primarily just his downswing. And I want you to pay attention to, on that downswing, how he gets into the point of standing up and then these hands really flipping and rolling over. That's causing him on his bad days to hit those hook shots, on his good days to hit those little draws. But we all know golf is a measure of how good our bad shot is, not how good our good shot is. If we're all good shots and what all good shots were, Josh would be off scratch already. Alright. <laughs> okay, so first thing we've got to do right here is, is get this body firing. First thing we need to get working right is the downswing and the body. Now, if you're doing this at home, do make sure you've got a little bit of space. As you can see, I've cleared absolutely everything out of the kitchen so I could bring you Sunday swings. So you might be thinking, Alex, well, why is one of the Sunday swings outside, one of them not? Well, one of them I managed to film before the snow, and this one I didn't film before the snow. So, I want to ask you a question. Since this is the first Sunday of 2021, which I still find hard to get into my head, I want to know what your handicap goal is for this season. Okay? Comment down below. But also, with that, what's the one thing you've got to really improve upon to get an access that new goal. Is it improving chipping? Is it improving club face control? Is it hitting it a little bit further? Or is it just actually getting out to play more than once a week? Find it down below your goal and what's got to change in your golf game to get that. So let's start off with the body. So this is going to be in two parts and please make sure you do do them in this order because it's important that we do work it through in this order because if you've got the club working better but the body not firing, good luck. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need, this could be the side of the sofa. I've just got a, an old woggle in a cone. Improvisation, that is called, improvisation. So one thing I want you to feel is that on the downswing, we don't gain height in our belt buckle, okay? I'm referencing my belt buckle here. I want you to feel your belt buckle stays the same level and works around. Now in reality, the left hip on the downswing will get a little bit higher than the right for a right-handed golfer. The opposite for a left-handed golfer. So what I want you to feel is arms across the chest. These can be exercises you can do every single morning while the kettle's going, while you're cooking your eggs. By the way, do you like scrambled poke? No, going off topic here, Josh, aren't I? A little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fried man. You're a fried man. Yeah. I, I'm definitely a poached egg man, and Josh doesn't believe how good my poached egg skills are. Yeah. Definitely not a myth. So while, while the eggs are cooking, two minutes, hands across the chest, really feeling as though the belt buckle doesn't gain in height, it really feels as though it stays at the same height. Now, I want you to do this, and the reason why I've got the alignment stick here is, I want you to get used to really getting these hips to fire. So the analogy I want you to use is staying in posture, get lighter, get heavier, so we're doing the opposite, we're loading into that transition, get lighter. And it's a real feeling of the opposite move. Boof. So what will feel if you're someone who's standing up in that downswing, it will probably feel like you're squatting down quite a lot. Now watch my spine angle, I'm not leveling out the shoulders to get taller and lighter. Shoulders stay on plane, get taller, get lighter, into transition, turn it through to target. So you can see here, I'm first off trying to learn to get the body a little bit more active. So now for stage two, I can get the hands a little bit more active. So if you're using the side of the sofa, make sure it's not the point end of your alignment stick. I don't want any claims to go, Alex, the golf swing's great, but the sofa's wrecked. Because I'd be in trouble, you'd be in trouble. That's not what we want to happen. So, Make sure it's this side and just stand there. Right hand out, grip as you're gripping the goal club with your right hand. Up, transition, fire the hips through. And really get used to firing them. We've got nothing to worry about. We're not worrying about where the ball goes. Learn to fire the hips, learn to stay in posture, get heavy in transition to get light through the golf ball. We now, we now can get used to how to use the club. So we're halfway through this video and Josh just said to me, Funny that you got your slippers on. Well, no, aren't I? Don't <laughs> be like comfy. Well, it's only like wearing, you wouldn't wear your slippers to the golf course, would you? Oh, 
a good point, but there we go. I wouldn't wear slippers and play with COVID at all. She's at home, home videos, mate. It's snowing outside. <laughs> okay, so it's Sunday Swings and nothing changes apart from us being inside. If you want to win a free swing analysis, it's so easy. I'm not gonna go on about it, it's dead simple. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, hashtag share down below and share this with video with three friends to be in with a chance to take James's place. Remember, it's double up, double bubble. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> it's double bubble every single Sunday to make sure you have your chance to win. Less of the slippers, they're not that bad. <laughs> Christmas present these. Got to flex the Christmas present, right? <laughs> okay, downswing. We want to get out of that habit of standing up. We've got the remedy for that. We now want to accompany this body being a little bit more active with a little bit of a stronger club face. So what I see with a lot of good players and a lot of players in, in general, if the club face is weak at last parallel, the club has to work somewhat through the release to be able to square up on the way through. If the club didn't somewhat roll, this face would always point a little bit to the right. So what James is doing, he's always overcompensating a little bit. This butt end of the club is pointing back to the camera. This body isn't as active as much as it needs to be. That's a very kind of loud ending there, wasn't it? <laughs> very passionate about it. So downswing, and what I would say right now is I call these shadow swings, so they will look very over-exaggerated, but it's all about learning now to fire the body and be more passive with the hands. And this whole thing will bring it all together as one. And I think that's important, bringing both tip one and tip two all together is your way of actually improving your golf game. Badminton racket out, fitting that we started the year the badminton racket, we may as well start the next year with the badminton racket. I want you to move the swing to the top, I want you to feel that you get the strings matching the spine angle at last parallel, and all I want you to do now is, is learn to rotate through impact, up and out and hold. So if I show you that from the face on perspective, up, light, heavy, fire those hips, open up the body. So what you can see now is I'm not really doing anything with these wrists. My body is releasing my club. Watch this again. Up, into last parallel. My body is releasing my club. And again, I know these are really over-exaggerated. I'm looking for them to be over-exaggerated. Your checkpoints are club face matching spine angle. Get your body to control the release not the hands. Better body movement, more active body is your way to improving your golf game. Thanks so much for watching Sunday Swings number two. I promise you we won't be at home next week. We're back to normal. See you on the golf course.